number 44, Carly Samuelson. Starting at power forward, number 31, Stephanie Dawson. Starting at center, number zero, Shakira Austin. The other guard, number seven, Ariel Atkins. At the other forward position, number 20, Brittany Sykes. The head coach can give up home team. Ladies and gentlemen, your Washington starters. Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Minnesota Lynx playing against the Washington Mystics. And from the district, Washington, D.C., I'm Blake Sudigo with our so-called experts, Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. And we're glad you could join us for this matchup. All right, let's play fantasy basketball a little here, guys. You get to start a franchise with one player. Who do you pick? I got to go with Asia Wilson. Now, she's already won multiple MVPs, got that title in 2022, and the best part, she's still improving her game. She works so hard, and she never settles. You can never go wrong with Wilson, but I'm going with Brianna Stewart. She's an elite scorer and defender, long, and Stewart is the ultimate winner. It's just cool to see Atkins have fun playing the game, and I love how she brings great character and personality to her team. Now here's Miller. Pass to Williams. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Sykes. To the paint. Austin. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. This is just unselfish basketball at its finest. You just know that Sykes' teammates appreciate her willingness to share the wealth. Now here's Williams. Inside. And she drops in the layup off glass. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. Outside, Atkins. Knocks down the three ball. A player that truly loves to learn. I think it's cool how Atkins is always asking questions because she is all about competing and improving. Collier gets the bucket. Hit the bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery into the lane. And here's Samuelson. Pass to Sykes. Now Austin. Ariel Atkins on the wing. And it's Collier with the rebound. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space, and she whiffs on an open jumper. Outside, Williams. And so That's it's going to be a three-second three violation there Technical on the foul. defense. Technical free throw is good. Collier outside. Banked in off the glass. And it's a tie ball game. A do-it-all player. I mean, inside, outside. Collier can score from anywhere on the floor. Pass to Atkins. Now here is Sykes. The shot good on the assist by Ariel Atkins. Come on. 
You can't leave her alone like that, especially from long range. Outside Williams, outside Miller. Tipped away and stolen by Brittany Sykes. Score the basket, her second of two attempts. With a nice touch around the rim, Sykes doesn't miss many opportunities inside. Pass to Miller, Collier. And here's McBride. From outside, off the mark. Sykes outside. Shakir Austin, high post. Now Samuelson. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. And there's the ball. It's going to be an illegal screen. The idea of setting a screen on that play, it was the, the, the good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. Outside Williams, Collier. McBride outside. Six to shoot from past the arc. That one's in her first basket of the game. She is one for two. Can score from anywhere on the court, and McBride has really taken on that alpha personality type. Here's Samuelson. This one for three. Here's Austin. Nice work on the board, <laughs> paying off Austin. with the basket. Always bringing the energy. Shakira Austin with effort points, and those buckets feel bigger than just two. Pass to McBride. The offensive rebound. Goes up again. And it's Minnesota scoring again. Such a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. That's what she brings to the table. Here's Samuelson. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And it's Atkins missing. The Lynx trailing. Pass to Williams. Hey, yo, right here. Right here. McBride outside. That doesn't go either for Kayla McBride. Here's the Mystics with the ball. Here's Sykes. Down it goes for her third basket and as many tries. Once inside, Sykes commits to the play. She'll work around contact if she has to. And there's the whistle, illegal Open screen. Three. Very close this call this there on the illegal screen. But I'd go along with it. You know, to me, it didn't really look like her feet were set. And Washington has possession. They lead by four. And here's Melbourne. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. And here are the links now. Pass to Heidemann. Collier outside. Here's Williams. The three is up, gets a three-pointer to fall. Williams. Don't underestimate Collier's ability as a distributor. She'll make passes that make you say, wow. And you love how Nafisa Collier has stepped up to become a real leader on the floor. I think we all expected it from the former Rookie of the Year, but it's nice to see her as a guiding voice on the floor, someone that other players can look to in the big moments. Pass to Williams, Collier outside. Top of the key. Atkins grabs the board. The Mystics with the lead. 14 feet out. And again, it's Washington converting. With the passion and commitment for the whole game and not just a part of it, Atkins has enhanced a complete skill set. Now here's Miller. Looking for a first basket still in this one. Shots good by Smith. 
There has it. not been much no. defense to speak of yet, has there? Nope. It's been all offense all the time here early. Here's Melbourne. Sykes outside. Now Melbourne. Just five on the clock. Sykes. Miller defending. From the elbow. Second chance shot. And it's Austin missing. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. She muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and she's on her way to the line. What an excellent assist. It really led her to the perfect spot. Well, the topic of rest has been huge in professional basketball. How important is it, guys? Well, as the league continues to add games, it's vital, especially for those older players. Remember, it's all about that ring. It's all about winning it all, pacing yourself during the regular season. Yeah, so you don't want to overextend your vets, but you also don't want to work your stars into the ground. It's tough to manage, but a strong supporting cast is the best rest. Walker Kimbrough with it. And she converts the layup. Good possession resulting in the easy one down low. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Williams. She's got five. Pass to Heideman. Three-pointer. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Her assist average has increased each year in the league. Williams has become a more willing passer. Great five. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. Defense is right there. The shot by Richards, no good. That's the kind of D that's needed when she's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. Here's Carlton. Covered by Heinz Allen. Carlton gets the bucket. And here's Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Austin. Now here's Atkins. And here's Heinz Allen, covered by Collier. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Uh, Trips to the line to shoot two. Second personal foul. And at times, Maisha Hines Allen acts as a sort of point forward. He has really good floor awareness, whether it's passing, rebounding, scoring. And another thing I love about her is she gets back defensively. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. A second round success story. Heinz Allen, one of those rare non-first rounders making a major impact in the league. And the second free throw, good. Here's Williams. She has five. Pass to Kone. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. It's going to be on Maisha Hines Allen. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Sika Kone. And she makes the first.
She hits both from the stripe. Here's Richards. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Austin. Over Smith. And another miss by Washington. The Lynx with the lead. Here's Carlton. He shoots again. And it's Richards with the rebound. She got ahead of herself there and just lost her concentration. At least that's what I think. Here's Atkins. Courtney Williams with the defensive effort. Solid job by the defense to get in her way as she was going up to the rim. Heedman. And they pick up two. Not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. And it'll happen again and again if they don't put more effort into boxing out. And that's what it's all about, Brian. Rebound. Effort. Offense coming that's free and score. easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Links ahead, leading by four. Minnesota. And we'll be back 29. right after this. Just getting set to begin. And from what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? It's been a long-range battle for them, and one they are winning. Some sharp shooting from deep, a uh, big part of why they're up. Pass to McBride from downtown. And the Lynx, another three. A shooter who doesn't really need much space to be effective. McBride has a quick and accurate release. Dolson with it. Now Sykes. Now Samuelson. Puts up a three. And Carlton pulls it down. I like the bold move of going right back at her to return the three, but she just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Heidemann. And here's Carlton. Jacks up a three. And that'll be Minnesota's ball as it goes out of bounds. Lynx able to keep the ball here. And the Lynx making a change here. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Shot clock at six. Knocks it loose. Here's Collier. Got it for her fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. These kinds of finishes will energize Collier's entire team. That's the power of fearless basketball, guys. Pass to Sykes. Dolson, covered by Smith. Now Melbourne. Tries again, and she lays it up and in. The coach has always told me that if you battle for offensive rebounds, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow, just like she got there. Collier outside. Pass to Heidemann. Three-pointer. Yes, and it's now Tisha Collier picking up the assist. Keeps her head up and looks for open teammates. That style of play will keep Collier around for a while. And here's Melbourne. Six points for her. Minnesota grabs the miss. Here's Collier. That shot off. Good D by Maisha Hines Allen. The Mystics on offense. Trailing by 10. Pass to Dolson. Now here is Sykes. 
Good on the triple. About a career 30% three-point shooter, Sykes isn't the player you normally expect to knock down a tray. Here's Heideman. Smith with it. Wide open. The rebound by Melbourne. And pushing it up, here's Washington. That one goes in. Just a pure score. Sykes slides up the scoreboard in various ways. Makes her hard to stop. Right outside. And she uses the glass on the layup. Not much the D can do once she gets to the bucket. Here's Melbourne. Pass to Samuelson. Now Dolson. Sykes. Miller defending. Four on the clock. Sykes, no good. And here's Heideman. To the middle. Smith. That's basket oh, number two Smith. with her third Assisted. shot. Off to a fast Matisha two for three. Heideman. A player who can get creative offensively. Let's just say Smith knows what to do inside. Pass to Samuelson. Nailed from three-point land. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here's McBride. Now here's Smith, guarded by Dolson. Fires from 14. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Now Samuelson. Sykes outside. Heinz Allen. Pass to Samuelson. And it's off from three-point range. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like that. Miller with it. To the inside. And stolen by Dolson. Over to the left wing. Miller grabs the miss. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Yeah, I'd say that shot Stephanie was Dolson. well within her range. First personal I hope so. Please There's first. nothing like a one-footer. As we head towards the 30th season of the WNBA, what stands out to you guys in terms of the state of the league? No, to me, it's just how great of a position the league is in. We've got exciting young stars, ratings, records being set every single year, and just the overall feeling around the W. I sense that too, that we're all building something, and this thing is continuing to improve. That's what's the most exciting thing for me. I think the best is yet to come. A unanimous selection to the WNBA all-rookie team, McBride made an immediate impact in this league. Pass to Dolson. Samuelson. Austin with it. Count it from 12 feet. Austin. Now here's Williams. Here's Miller. Defended by Atkins. Here's Kune. Here's McBride. Second shot opportunity. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's on Shakira Austin. And this is her second trip to the line tonight. Sika Cohen. First one falls for her. So 
she gets them both. And here's Walker Kimbrough. Makes it off the glass. Walker Kimbrough for two. Here's Williams. They lead by seven. Collier outside. Pass to Kone. McBride defended by Atkins. Shot clock at five. And stolen by Atkins. Now Richards. Miller defending. The shot by Richards. No good. And like lots of WNBA players, Diamond Miller's dad, Lance, was a great hooper himself. Yeah, he played major college basketball. Lance was Diamond's club coach, instrumental in developing her game. And when you watch Diamond play, you see someone who is so skilled, and you know she started working on those skills at a very young age. On the wing, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. That's She's guarded ball. by Williams. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You have to make sure your feet are set. But when you set those screens, or they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. Outside, Williams. Pass to Carlton. Right through the D for the layup. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. For three. Bangs home the trifecta. A capable distributor. Atkins is able to see the big picture within the game. Outside Williams. Half, two minutes. Pass to Kone. From down in the low post, it goes. And Washington has possession. Time called here. Time the Mystics the decide to talk it over. And what I love about Ariel Atkins, she goes hard every single night. Yeah, it's really tough to outwork her on the court because she's so passionate oh, about the game. And that rubs off on her teammates. Olsen, covered by Collier. Down low. Here's Kune, guarded by Austin. Collier. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. Ariel Atkins on the wing. McBride covering. Pass to Dolson. Walker Kimbrough with it. Six on the shot clock. The three ball drills the three-pointer. Yeah, you might not think of her as a true ace from three-point range, but the shot was there for her. 
Now Collier. McBride, guarded by Dolson. Pass to Carlton. That ball is in the basket. He's now shot six and made three. Every once in a while, she shows us some great moves around the hoop. Walker Kimbrough with it. Collier's there. Dolson, shot's good. Scoring inside, it's about a lot of things. To me, touch is most important. And Dolson knows how to get the ball in the hoop. And five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Carlton. Here's Kone. McBride, defended by Atkins. Now here's McBride. She's tightly guarded. Here's Kune, and the basket is good. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't-miss area. Here's Atkins. Here's the three. She got it up in time, but it just wouldn't fall for her. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Links ahead, up by nine. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. Without question, Kayla McBride is displaying her skills today. Well, guys, what she gives this team is an edge. She lights up an arena when she gets going. In the first half, she had it going. And she doesn't just give them an edge. She gives them a confidence that they otherwise wouldn't have. And I just see her as a special player that the team loves having around. And now the third quarter, about to get going again. The Lynx with the lead. 19, 19. Pass to Kone. Smith with it. Outside, Williams. Clock at six. And there's a call on Austin. That will get her fourth foul of the game. First team foul. Substitution for your Washington Mystics, Stephanie Dawson. And here are the links now. McBride outside. Here's Kune. Chalk up two right there. Here's the Mystics with the ball. 11-point game. Outside, Atkins. Shoots the three. Drains the three-pointer. With an unwavering work ethic, Atkins has just about mastered the three ball. Second half just getting started. About a minute play. Williams inside. Out to Miller. She tries for three. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Now Samuelson. Pass to Dolson. Sykes. They grab their own miss. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is great timing. She is one tough customer on the offensive glass. It's almost like she has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And hers might be better than just about anyone's. What do you think, guys? Now here's McBride. Ariel Atkins, get that out of here. Young and hungry. Can it get better than that? 
Adkins is a great fit for her team system and is simply willing to do whatever she can to contribute wherever she can. A really aggressive play, taking it to the rack against the taller defender. Well, when you're on the wrong end of the size matchup like she was, aggressive play is the only way to get it going. Here's Williams, lays it up and in off the pretty assist. No fear, Williams is normally the smallest player on the floor, but she can operate down low with her toughness. Sykes outside. Austin, covered by Smith, to the inside. Shot's good by Samuels. Crafty pass for it, getting it down low for the easy deuce. Pass to Kone. McBride. Down to five on the shot clock. To the paint. Smith. That falls. Smith. Great assist by Kayla McBride. Assist a team-oriented leader with a passion for making others better. McBride is simply a fantastic teammate. Pass to Sykes. Outside Atkins. Fires top of the key. It's hauled in by the Lynx. Here's Williams. McBride outside. Let's go with a three. And it's Austin with the rebound. Washington trailing. Here's Atkins. Down goes basket six for her this game. She's taken 12 shots and made half of them. And you see the grit of Atkins there. You simply cannot quantify how hard she plays. Pass to McBride. Atkins grabs the board. Nine feet out, and it's blocked! Because of Smith's ability to read opponents effectively, she's able to be uh, just a quality shot blocker. Here's Samuelson. Pass to Dolson. And another shot. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. McBride outside. It's good. The assist that time from Courtney Williams. The catalyst of the team McBride is dependent on for buckets, and I'll tell you, she usually delivers. Sykes outside. Pass to Samuelson. Looking to get it going. Count the basket. Miller with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. Who wants a T-shirt? Pass to Heidemann. 
Rebounded by the Mystics. And here's Melbourne. She has six. And here is Sykes. Richards. Miller defending. Now here's Austin. Five on the clock. And stolen by Smith. And the Lynx pushing it up now. Yep, that one goes. Here's Melbourne. Sykes outside. Let's it go. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. She can beat you in a lot of different ways. Sykes is dangerous in the pick and roll game because she can handle the ball too. You know, twice now, Brittany Sykes has led the league in total steals. And that was in back-to-back -back seasons. Her defensive instincts are razor sharp and she can put the cuffs on any offense. Inside. It's Melbourne. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. She can time her passes so perfectly. What an assist. Outside Miller. Pass to Smith. That's another oh, nice. one for her. Her fifth to just seven shots. Miller. Can't get much easier than that for Miller. She kept her head on a swivel and didn't overthink it. It's Melbourne. Heedman grabs the miss. The Lynx leading. Collier up top. And she was fouled on the way up. Two easy throws for her. And in each of her first two seasons, Lisa Collier led the league in minutes played. Incredible. And she didn't just stack up minutes. Collier is the rare player that gives you all of the five major stats, the five major food groups. Points, boards, assists, steals, blocks. Collier, she gives you it all. And the first one at the line is good. You know, Collier has quickly proven her ability here in the WNBA. And I think she's only going to get better as time goes on. That's also good, so she hits them both. Now Melbourne. Eight points for her. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Off target from three-point range. Here's Smith. It's good, and she threw the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. That's good. Three-point play opportunity. Teams first. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. The prototypical big for today's game. Smith can beat you inside and outside. They get it back. That's in. It's her fifth field goal. She's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And here's Heideman. 11 points in the game. Diamond Miller for three. The shot will not fall. Washington trailing. Goes up on the baseline. Two minutes. Diamond Miller with some nice defense. Collier with it. Now guarded by Heinz Allen. Miller can't get it to go. So it's Washington now. Pass to Richards. 
And it's Collier with the rebound. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And we just saw it right there, didn't we? Without her presence, that's an easy two points. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. Ten points for her. To the middle. Melbourne. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. Hey, fans, who wants a free T-shirt? Make some noise! Substitutions here. Pass to Heidemann. And here's Carlton. From deep. And Samuelson pulls it down. Inside. And stolen by Nafisa Collier. That's tipped. Brittany Sykes attacking. Minnesota grabs the miss. Miller with it. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Out to the right wing. Carlton gets the bucket. Carlton. They're looking bounce pass to set up the basket. This should be the last possession of the quarter. If their clock management is good, it will be. Here's Sykes. She's got 14. Fires the three. And the release was before the buzzer, That's but the it's off the target. With the and we've reached the end You're of the third. Mystics. The Lynx on top, 16. leading by seven. Minnesota. And we'll have 75. the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. This was an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for her. Yeah, she served her up some tasty room service right there, guys. Sweet dime. Hello, and thanks for joining us again. The fourth quarter of play should begin in moments. Here's Samuelson. Nice D from Nafisa Collier. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. Here's McBride. Misses the layup. And Washington has possession. Now Samuelson. Pass to Sykes. Over McBride. That one a tad offline to the right, but it drops in for him. 
The Lynx with the lead. Outside, Williams. McBride. For three, Nafisa Collier. Another Nafisa three for Collier. Minnesota. Just no hesitation going up with it. Collier's confidence is what allows her to drain quick shots. Sykes outside. That counts. She's put up 13 shots and now has made eight of them. Well, tired legs affect you at the defensive end first, and that's what's happening here. You nailed it. And as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Nafisa Collier for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Oh, this is a player who lights it up. In Collier's WNBA debut, she went off for 27 points, second most ever in a player's first game. Now here is Sykes. Miller defending. Pass to Samuelson. Clock at four. Fade away. And it's Austin missing. And here's Samuelson. She's guarded by Williams. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that. Really, that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. And the first one drops. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And here are the links now. They lead by seven. On the wing, Courtney Williams. She's guarded by Sykes. Back to Collier. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, Official saw the contact and she'll shoot two. Stephanie Dolson picks one up. Great effort getting to the line from Collier. Part of what makes her so good, she can battle inside and hit those outside shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so she makes both. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Pass to Sykes. Austin. Here's Atkins. They get it again. Score the basket. It's number six for her this game. Six for nine, and that's 67% shooting. Now Collier. Nick Ride. And the Lynx miss again. Here's Samuelson. She's guarded by Williams. And here's Samuelson. Six on the shot clock. Atkins. No good with the wing jumper. Smith outside. Pass to McBride. 
Miller with it. From deep, carries the long range jumper. When she is hitting threes consistently, Miller, a scary player to defend. Washington calls timeout. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Here's Samuelson. She's guarded by Williams. Shot left block. That misses off the backboard. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. Back to Miller. Collier. Yes, and it's Diamond, Diamond Miller Collier. picking up that assist. Love Collier's discipline on offense. Looks for a shot she likes and dedicates to it. Here's Samuelson. Dolson covered by Collier. Fades away. Here's Austin. And the bucket counts, and she's on her way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. And the free throw, no good. A top three pick, Shakira Austin is an efficient big. Plays around the rim, gives opponents fits with her style of play. And the play That's stops. Screen. Whistle on what looks screen. like an illegal screen. Well, I just think an illegal screen, it's one of the toughest calls for an official to make. Yeah, you have to appreciate how difficult a job they have to do when it comes to making calls like that. It's not as easy as people might think. And the refs in this league just do a great job. It's hauled in by Smith. And here are the links now. To the inside. Collier. Add another no, basket to her impressive total. It's her ninth against 12 attempts. Pass to Dolson. Now Sykes. And here is Samuelson. Austin with it, covered by Smith. It's deflected, and she recovers it, and there it is. Now here's Williams. Pass to McBride. Let's it go from deep. They get it back. And it's Collier missing. Now Samuelson. Here's Dolson. There's the triple. 
and she's good on the three ball. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. Well, injuries, they're just such a tough part of the game. And impossible to tell just how bad it is, but she's definitely coming out, and that may be all for her today. Substitution for the Lynx, Bridget Carlton. And here are the Lynx now. Smith inside, guarded by Austin. Smith, no good. And Washington has possession. They trail by seven. Here's Samuelson. Minnesota grabs the miss. Smith with it. To the paint. Carlton uses the glass to finish the layup. She placed that pass right out in front of her and just let her run into it. Pass to Dolson. Sykes. Samuelson, she's guarded by Williams. Courtney Williams with the steal. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Yeah, anytime the shot comes from that range, the offense has done its job. Here's Samuelson. She's guarded by Williams. Yeah, count it. And just a huge hole in the defense, and she didn't waste any time going through it. And here's Williams. McBride outside. Atkins grabs the board. This has been a rough second half for her shooting the ball. She should probably adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Fought hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and got the board. Carlton shot is off. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. The Lynx with the lead. Here's Williams. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Carlton. From outside the arc. That's her sixth field goal today. And with that, she is six for 11. She might not be the top sharpshooter in this league, but that's not a shot that D can afford to give to her. Now Samuelson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brittany Sykes. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Pass to Smith. And it's Austin with the rebound. Now Samuelson. Sykes. And the Lisa shot count. Ball. She's fouled. Miller. That's a chance for a first point play. Teams first. To score in these situations, you have to have zero conscience. Sykes doesn't care if it's the start of the game, the end of the game. She just wants to score. She's the player you want at the charity stripe in that situation. I got no doubt about that. Outside Williams. That's in. It's a fifth field goal. She's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. It's going to take something very special for them to, to come back now. Well, something special and a little bit of luck. And maybe uh, some threes for him down as well. Sykes with the bucket. No stranger to this type of moment. Remember Sykes played in the national championship game in college. She's been in many huge situations. Now here's Williams. She's guarded closely. Misses from short range. Sykes outside. Out to Atkins. Pass to Sykes. 
Here's Samuelson. She's guarded by Williams. Samuelson shot is off. Well, with a clear look at the basket, she doesn't really miss a lot of those. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Now here's Williams. Steps back and shoots. Connects! Yeah, with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. I don't know if I'd call it 100% secure, but at least 98%. I'll go 99.2. And the Mystics call time here. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, if you're watching the huddle, I think the coach is telling them to take the easy points in a hurry, then foul as soon as possible. Yeah, and you shouldn't just foul blindly, though. Go for the steal with all they've got for that. Yeah, you could go for the steal for a second or two, then foul. From deep. And out of bounds, the Lynx will take it. Lynx ball. And now we've got the intentional foul. Ariel Atkins. First personal foul, teams first. Second team foul. Here's Williams. And so Mystics they choose foul. to intentionally foul. First personal foul, teams first. Third team foul. At the line for the away team. Shoot two. Williams. She gets the first. And that increases their lead to six. Not a huge recruit at a high school going to a mid-major. Uh, Courtney Williams has beat the odds. Now, she's one of the rising stars in the WNBA. And the Mystics call Washington. time here. Guys, what do you think? They can call all the timeouts they want, but it uh, really isn't going to do them any good. No, there's nothing they can do to salvage this one at this point. Yeah, it's just a uh, stat padding time. Substitution on the court. Three from the inbound. Melbourne shot is off. So we see the Lynx get the win here.
That's a truly end gutsy end performance away from home. It really was. This one was making the balance late. They show just what tough-minded squad they can be. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.